I like whipped cream. And, uh, This was too easy, yeah. It's not easy for you. Time. We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just going to have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, that's not going to be hard to do. Tonight, tonight, da -da -da -da, we have a contingency here from the Hyatt Newporter. That looks like the recipe I've got. Yes, well, it's, ha it's going to tie in Same with thing. your recipe. That's right. We gave away an auction item at the Newport Beach Chamber of Commerce dinner. And the winner of the auction item got to give us their recipe, which you're going to make on camera. And the winner of that auction item was Hubert Lorenz, who is the chef at the Hyatt Newport. I hope he didn't pay too much. Because <laughs> this, this is a hard recipe. So he gave us his recipe. It's called Grandmother's Favorite Meat Stew. It's not even a meat stew. It's a, it's, well, you're going to see. It's strange. So he's here, he's here tonight in Boy. our audience. And um, thank you for bidding on us, and thank you also for being here. We're going to try this recipe, and then at the end, he's going to come on up, and he's also made one. I know. I saw it go out. It doesn't so, look like the one I made at all. <laughs> uh -uh. Why are we not surprised? No. And also, uh, in, our, in our audience tonight, if you have not seen this, on our last show, we talked about the article in the L.A. Times Orange County edition um, that said Chef de Garage. Well, this is... The, the L.A. Times article in the Los Angeles edition that came out a week later, it's called Crean's World, and it's written wow. by Jim Washburn, who's also in our audience tonight, and we cannot thank him enough for this. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? You know what? This edition of the Times goes everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, in New York and Chicago and everywhere. Everywhere. And I had bill collectors calling from <laughs> everywhere. Boy. Well, since this article has come out, we have gotten inquiries from um, uh, Entertainment Tonight, yeah. CNN, which will be here next yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Uh, we've gotten inquiries from The Tonight Show, yeah. um, Fox, Good Day L.A., so we've sent out tapes to all those people, and I'm hoping that somebody will um, want us to be on their show. Yeah. But you know what, though, Barbara? The article made the show sound a lot better than it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say Jim's a better writer than we are cooks. So. You got that right. <laughs> But okay. thank you, so we are on our way, so your worst nightmare is going to come true. You're going to oh, have boy. to I'm do afraid, this show yeah. forever. Oh, boy. You know, that might happen. Today I had to take my treadmill test. And? I passed. Good. My arteries are in good shape. All right. All right. <laughs> Boy. Well, honey, you better stay healthy. And then, um, and then I got to share this with you. <laughs> it says here, this is written in, in crayon. And I know that won't come up on the camera. It says, Barbara, your recipes are great. Excuse the chalk, but around here, they don't allow us to use sharp objects. <laughs> <laughs> and it's signed... Carlos Marino. Okay. So wherever you are from, That's Carlos, thank you. Typical, typical viewer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's talk about Hubert's recipe. All what, right, what's got it consists of? Well, in first, I'm only going to make half of it because his was enough for, boy, a lot of people. But I guess the, the, the Hyatt feeds a lot of people. All right. Uh, well, what can I say? We're, gonna, we're just going to start and do it because it's, uh, it's very difficult. And we very seldom do these kind of recipes on this show because in 21 minutes, you just can't do that good stuff, you know. And that's what this is. What is that? So th this is turkey. Turkey. Turkey, yeah. Turkey, turkey breast. Uh, oh, don't stick together like that. Uh, Did you pound that? No, I didn't. It just it did, comes that way? It didn't way? say to pound it. No, it come, you, you, you buy it. Yeah, it comes sliced like this. Really? Yeah, and it's very expensive, six bucks a pound. Wow. 
Yeah. And then what he did, what's in here? Egg. That's it? That's it. Just egg. Okay. You know I forgot something already. What? <laughs> we'll do it later. We'll do it later. I was, I'm supposed to, yeah, that a girl. <laughs> when I get around Barbara, my nose runs. <laughs> what can we do? Okay. No, I was supposed to put salt and pepper on these. To taste. To taste. That's what it says, to taste. Well, that's better what, you didn't do what it. What does that mean, to taste, you know? That means to your own personal taste. Yeah, okay. And your taste is not the average bear, so you better leave it off. No. But we'll put it on later. Can I do anything? Well, what would you do? Yeah, you can. <laughs> right now, we're all done with that egg, so why don't you get rid of the egg? Just pour it right down the drain. Okay. You know, we could fry it and make a nice omelet. There's enough left over there. Would you like to? No, let's don't. Okay. All right. <laughs> And we've got the salt and pepper here, but we're going to have to, well. Now, you know, this, this, this half of this recipe was so much that, yeah. uh, that I did half of the half this afternoon this way because it would take too long to do, the, do all of it all at once. So now we're going to do this in a breadcrumb, this plain old breadcrumb. I could do that. Can you do that? I think I can. Okay. But I get my nails. What color are your nails today? Red. Red, all right. But I think I could do it. You think you can do it? Well, listen, instead of doing this, Put some of that olive oil in that pan, and I think the fire is on, on low. Put enough olive oil to cover the bottom of the pan. Is the pan, is the pan hot? Um. Just put your finger in there and see, by the way. <laughs> no, really, seriously, is the pan hot now? Because if it's hot, we can put these in there. Here, I'll test. All right, yeah. Well, if it was hot, what would they do? <laughs> they, they wouldn't just lay there. Turn the fire up higher. Nothing's happening, Barbara. Turn yeah. the fire up. Nothing. Turn, we need more heat. More heat. Turn the fire way up. Turn it red fire. Plum, plum okay, on. Okay, now the they're sizzling. Good. All the way. That's, uh, by that's, Can I put one in? Sure. Go ahead. If it just lays there, though, we're in trouble. Oh. Well, how about if it lays there but just, like, does a little something? <laughs> it's not doing it. Is the fire on? Yes, it's on. It's on. Are you sure? Positive. Now you got to crowd these in tight all around there, okay, or you won't, or you we'll won't make it. Okay, squeeze them in. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> Barbara's really doing that. I don't believe it. All right. But there's nothing for me to stir. There in this recipe, I don't think there is. Oh, I feel very lost. Well. All but right. I can, at least I can stab them with my nails. <laughs> They don't fit. And I suppose you're not supposed to put them on top of each other, right? Uh, they will. It, well, here, Barbara, they'll go in there, but you gotta, you got to move them around a little bit, you know, just slide them over into the corner. Okay. Make, make some room there now. Now you got room for a great big one right there, see? Well, I could cut, tear it and cut Barbara, it. Barbara, hey, bar put it in there. Well, no, oh, this geez. fits perfectly now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. No. Now see, we got we got them all in there, didn't we? Yes. Huh? Didn't we? All right. Lovely. Now stand there and watch them. Okay. Okay. What am I watching them for? Well, to see that, make sure they don't burn. All right. Now you know this is a really a strange recipe because everything you cook it twice. Everything you make is strange. You, no, this is really this is different because everything I make is usually very simple because I'm kind of simple. Well, sure. You know? When you're taking recipes, we did up that. Oh, now, box. now, now we're gonna put the now we're gonna put the. We're going to put the, the salt and pepper on. Okay, how much pepper? A uh, quarter of a te teaspoonful right there. Okay. All right. That's a quarter teaspoon right there. Okay. Right. And then we're going to put some salt. You're amazing the way you just know right. these things. Yes. Yeah, that's just a little salt. That's to taste. Salt to taste. Okay, that's to taste. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. Now. Now, let's see. We did, all, we did it all. It says heat oil and skillet and fry meat for about one minute on each side. Okay, we're doing That's that. That's wrong. You gotta, it's got to be longer. Okay. okay. All right. Hear that, Hubert? That's wrong. Modify your recipe. <laughs> uh. All right. Heat oil. Okay, saute onions. Okay, we, can't, we only got one frying pan, so we got to get this done first. Ta-da! Oh. That's, a, that's a terrible frying pan. That is not a good frying pan. No, we don't want to use that. We don't. No. Let's let's yeah. Let's turn these. That's a good idea. Let's let's turn these. Oh yeah, these are these are just doing one, okay. one minute of this right. 
Turn it. Oh, the fire. We got to turn the fire down. We got too much heat here. Here, you know what would be easier with a fork? Turn the fire down, Barbara. Ow, it's burning my nails. All right, is the fire? The fire is hot. The fire is hot. So we'll put these onions in here, huh? Ooh, Whoa. is it hot? Turn it down a little bit. That's too hot. Yeah. You know, my husband likes to eat these onions raw. Does he? Yes. Turn and it, then he comes over down. to me after he eats them raw and gets in my face. Really? Yeah. Oh, boy. He says that's true love. <laughs> that's about... How you know, many you onions know, is this? You know, the recipe calls for two pounds of onions. And that's a lot of onions, so we don't have that many. What do we got? That's enough. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. So now, while you're 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 going to be able to do that now. Now, don't beat them to death. I mean, because they leave them in rings. And, leave them in rings? And, well, I mean, so that they're not chopped. Uh, you know. Okay. So while you're doing that, I'm going to do the old mushroom trick again here. Oh, the handy dandy mushroom yes, slicer. Yes, the slicer. Yes. All right. It said sliced mushrooms. Isn't this keen? Boy, isn't that nice? Look at that. That's becoming your trademark. Isn't that great? And, and this mushroom slicer, the, the, the strings are really weak on it. It's down to... to uh, you may be ready for another one. Yeah. Well, they don't stay in rings, pal. And now they've all got brown... Barbara, get them in the pan, though. At least keep them in the, in the pan. They're in the pan. In the pan, yeah. Okay. They're in the pan. Did you notice my new apron? Oh, I did, I this did. This is another one of our wonderful marketing things. I had to wear one of the chili cook-off on my backside. <laughs> well, did. I, I, I did. I sat down on something and it didn't... He it sat did. down on chili and it looked like his butt was dirty. Boy. So we had to put an apron on the front of him and it barely covered his stomach and then we had to put an apron on the back of him and that barely covered his butt. <laughs> You know, we would have won that chili contest. What we did, we had to have some chili for the, for the people. You know, before the contest, before things were judged, and I, I forgot about that. So I run down. I bought a, a couple of cans of, of stag can chili. And what are you doing, Barbara? And I put a, uh, I put a, uh, uh, I chopped an onion up and put it in the can chili and heated it up, and fed it to those people. They loved it. They absolutely loved it. And you know, if we'd entered that in the, in the contest, we probably would have won, really. It was we sure a lot better than most of the chili I tasted. No, you know, in fact, one of my girlfriends went around to all the booths and tasted chili, and the next day she was really sick. There was some bad chili there. I, mean, I was glad that all I ate was the canned stuff. Oh, boy. No, the canned stuff was pretty good. Okay. Okay, hey, that's so what do we good. do with this now? That's looking good. You said good. when gonna... they're see-through, they're done. Well, we're going we're gonna to do that because we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna saute our... We're going to saute our... Uh, is this sautéing? This is sautéing, yes. And then we're going to saute our mushrooms a little bit in this. Boy, you, you got a little enough oil in there, didn't you? Well, you said put olive oil in. Well, yeah, okay. Those are really greasy. That's what I'm talking about, kid. <laughs> all right, all right. Whoa! Oh, another, not another fire. Okay. All right, now let's saute Whoa. these. Why is that happening? I don't know. There you go. All right. <laughs> now... You might turn that down just a little Maybe bit. Maybe huh? I need a longer spoon. Okay, we got a longer spoon. All right. Long spoon. I don't want to get near this thing. Long spoon. All right. Okay. All right. It's time to bring all in right. the heavy artillery. Well, now there's no oil left in the pan because you put it all in it's, the onions. It's all in the onions. Boy, and those onions look just... good, though. Don't those onions look good? Look at that. Mmm. Wow. All right. Well, you know what? Just, just tip that pan. Here. Look. Do this. And then oh, the grease boy. will just run right off. No, of I'm... Whoosh. No, uh, the grease is wonderful, Barbara. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, you know, at the, Hyatt, at the Hyatt, I bet they don't have to put up with that in their, in, their, in, their, uh, in, their, in their kitchen. Well, no, I'm sure that the Hyatt doesn't have anyone like me working for them. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, oh, that's enough. Turn the fire off. That's, that's done. Turn now, the fire off? Now, you know what? We're so close to being done, you can't believe it here. Let me really? see. Where's the recipe now? We're close to being done. Yeah, we are. We are. I got the recipe all wet. Uh, all right. Yeah, good, good, good. Did you wash right. these mushrooms? I sure did. Did you know? I washed them good. Okay, good. Do you know what they grow mushrooms in? Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now, here's the hard part. Uh-oh. Here's, well, I'm not even going to say that now because it's too hard. I won't, Let's I won't, go for the hard part. No, okay, okay. So now, we're going to take this. 
this here. If you'd like a copy of this recipe, you can write to us at the address on your screen. Is the show over? No, but... People know when they could watch the show, you know, and, okay. and that they could write right. to us at the address now, on the screen. Now, this is some bacon that I pre cooked this afternoon in the oven. Look at all the fat on there. Why don't you cut the fat off? Oh, boy. No, it's at, at, at what did I do? 300, 300 degrees for 40 minutes. And so it's almost all cooked. All, all the grease is out of it and gone on the, in, the, in the other part. So, anyhow, that's the bacon. Now, go ahead with closing the show there. So, we're going to put, the, and, and you know, I bet they can't even see this. Here. Can put they? it right here. Should we do that? All right. Do it here. All right. All right. A few onions. Oh, and what trick appliances you have. <laughs> wow. All right. Now, we're going to put this in here like this. Did we they put salt on, did we put, did we put salt on this? Yes. Yeah, we put salt on this, didn't we? All right. Okay, so there's a layer of bacon, a layer of onions, and a layer of turkey. Yeah. Now, let's put a, let's put a few mushrooms on here. Okay. Here they come. All right. Go ahead. All right. All right. All right. Okay, hit it. Well, let's spread them around a little more. They're Bombardier. spread. Okay, all right. Okay, onions. Try to keep them in onion. the pan. All right. Boy, those onions look delicious, you know what? They do. With all that oil on them. All right. And then another... Now put, yeah, put some mushrooms on the onions. Put some with mushrooms, that. okay. Are we forgetting something? You know what I would like to have put in this if I'd have had any? What? I would have some potato chips on this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're, they're laughing. No, potato chips are good. It would, no, it would, it soaks up, it soaks up the, the grease and the oil and all that stuff. And uh, we've got to put the bacon on here. Another low cholesterol item. No, I don't, no, we've, we've taken all the cholesterol out of this bacon. It, 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 it's, it's been cooked out and it's gone. This is no What's cholesterol bacon. Stuff? Well, that's fat when you cook the fat out of it. All right. Okay, is that it? Almost. Now, this is... Heavy cream. Oh. That's what it says. It's heavy cream. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not a dieter's delight. <laughs> now the hard part of it is. Yes. Remember, I said there was something that's hard about this recipe uh -huh. on a twenty-one minute show. Yeah. You're supposed to put this in the refrigerator for three days. <laughs> yeah. So it says right here. Doesn't it say that, Barbara? Read that right at the very bottom. It says Make that. approximately at 350 degrees for 40 to 60 minutes. Mashed potatoes or cooked red cabbage are good side dishes to cook. No, I mean about the meal. three days. Read that about the three oh. days. If people don't. It people says don't lastly, it. pour cream over mixture and marinate in refrigerator for three days. This enhances the flavor. <laughs> Boy. All right. So now. Okay. What we've done. Three days, huh? What we've done. I started this last. Well, this last is Saturday. the magic of television. I started this last Saturday, and it was <laughs> in there for three days, and here's what we've got. Oh, boy. All right. All right. Okay. All right, now. Okay. Okay, now I, okay. I'm going to ask the chef. Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. To come on up. Now, you watched us put this together. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Exciting, really exciting. <laughs> if I tell my mother about it, she mm -hmm. says, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was your mother's recipe. It was mother's recipes. Really? As a matter of fact, from the grandmother, then it was passed on to my mother. And with each generation, basically, they changed it slightly. Yeah, but back then they didn't have refrigerators. How that's did right, this work? That's right, that's right. So how did they refrigerate it for three days? They put it in the grave in the cellar, in the deep cellar, in the wine cellar. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Probably got it that wine when they were down there too. That's right. <laughs> now, okay. when you serve, is this a dish that's served at the Hyatt New Porter? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, that's but it will be. First on TV, and afterwards we're going to. We have the red cabbage. <laughs> red cabbage says that. Yeah. Sweet sour. Sweet sour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because the recipe says to serve it with mashed potatoes and red cabbage. But now, in 21 minutes, the canned red cabbage we could handle, but the mashed potatoes, no. No. Okay. Does this look like this when you, when you finish it? It looks similar, yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Really? 
Well, now I'm but now, 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 seriously, this, this isn't what you'd call a stew, though, is it really? It's not actually a stew, yeah. No, no, no. no a stew is where you boil it and, you know, and like, isn't it? No. Well, that's what he boils in the oven now. Really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well. All right, okay. well, would you like to taste this? Definitely. Really? Really? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't believe it. Hey, this. we got to take her. This I is can't the first time this. on our show. <laughs> we got to have a little. Is your life insurance paid up? My life is insured. I got all the stuff here. My colleagues from the higher new part of here, they're going to carry me back or stretch me, whatever needs to bring me back. <laughs> now, and, and I'm going to let I'm going to let you dig it out, what you're going to try there, because I, I wouldn't even know how to start serving that, you know? With well, the... let's just get a fork. All right, here's, well, let's get a... <laughs> We're gonna get a clean, a clean fork. Let's and start knife. with the basics. Now, what else do we need? That's about and a good appetite. A good appetite. Oh, I got, I have okay, that. Okay, let's. Well, look at all that cream. Look, look at, at that. all that. You know, this probably isn't too bad. You know, what? look at that. Okay. No more of that. Get some of that stuff a down bit in there. Sauce, uh, get some of the sauce down. We got a spoon. Spoon. Okay. Want to taste this? Don't pay attention to her. Just go ahead and do it the way you're no supposed to do it. No mushrooms. There's there. mushrooms there no somewhere. Mushrooms. Yeah. They're there. Really <laughs> There's mushrooms there. That's really cheap mushrooms. Well, we can't, we can't, we can't afford it. Now you're going to taste that. Okay, oh. you taste it. You know, it looks pretty good. Can it make Not it in my contract to eat on this show. Can it make it <laughs> no, it looks pretty good, really. It does. Oh, looky there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Was it hot? It's like being back home. All right. Oh, all right. Hey. Okay, no. we're out of here. We'll oh, see you next right. week. Bye. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Let's see, what else we got in here? Okay. From birth to age 18, a girl needs good parents. From 18 to 35, she needs good looks. From 35 to 55, she needs a good personality. From 55 on, she needs cash. <laughs> Who said that? That's a quote from Sophie Tucker. Sophie Tucker. Sophie Tucker. Gee, this is a young audience. They don't even know who Sophie Tucker was. Really? You're just trying to flatter the good-looking girls in the front Boy, row. Boy, we got some pretty girls in the front row. Look at that. Boy. I understand they paid good money to be there, too. <laughs> that means they're pretty, but they can't be very smart. <laughs> oh. Are you going to put flour in that? Boy, what are we doing? 